Essex and Suffolk Water's treatment works at Lound has been at the heart of drinking water supply to Britain's most easterly point for generations. Today, new technology has superseded the old to ensure plentiful supplies to customers in Lowestoft and elsewhere in Suffolk and maintain top tap water quality. Water's been treated on site here at Loud since uh, the 1860s. We have some examples of some of the very old uh, kit, which is redundant, but actually of historic value. Uh, we're at Fritton Lake, uh, adjacent to the treatment works at Loud. This is the main raw water source for the treatment process. We take typically around 10 million litres a day from here. This is a haven for wildlife, fish and birds. It's an outstanding area for wildlife. But the process of dissolved air flotation uh, involves taking a proportion of the water we're treating, passing it through a saturator vessel, which is pumped under high pressure, and that means we can inject very high concentrations of oxygen into water, much higher than you'd be able to do under normal atmosphere. When that highly saturated water is returned to the DAF process, because it's then not, not under pressure, you get a massive release of millions and millions of tiny air bubbles. This floats to the surface of the DAF chambers, taking all the horrible brown, gunky stuff we want to remove from the raw water. That is the chemical we've added, the ferric salt, uh, combined with the colour and material in the raw water. And we remove this by hydraulic mechanism, where it's further treated in a separate process. The land treatment process is monitored both continuously with online monitors, but also we carry out a series of manual testing in the on-site laboratory on a daily basis, and these take place on raw water, uh, part treated water, right through to the final water stage. So we've moved from the modern DAF plant to on top of the uh, filter building. The purpose of the filters is to remove the very small quantity of anything carried forward from the DAF process and it's the first of two stages of filtration. The filters are effectively about a metre of sand uh, in a concrete case and water filters in under gravity uh, at a reasonably high rate. Periodically we have to clean them and this we do by uh, draining them down, initially putting air back in the upward direction uh, to agitate the dirt and dislodge it from the sand. Uh, we then follow this with a, a high rate rinse of water uh, to carry away the accumulated dirt and after a few minutes uh, the filter is then ready to go back into service. So after the first stage of rapid gravity filtration, we at land here we have a second stage of filters, which are called slow sand filters. Behind me the cascade is the, is the inlet to those filters, so the extra oxygen helps, uh, helps promote this process. The model is an example of the construction of a slow sand filter. It uh, has layers of support gravel and on top of that about 600 millimetres of sand. Slow sand filters uh, much larger in area, they filter at much slower rates. They also take advantage of a natural biological process uh, to remove unwanted organisms from the water. After the second stage of filtration, the water is all but ready to drink. It's a very, very high quality, so the final stage is chlorination. Uh, and then it's pumped off-site, either directly to customers or into storage reservoirs, such as the one at Hollingsworth Road. This water will uh, feed generally the north northern area of Lowestoft, uh, about, so about 50,000 uh, people and a small proportion of the water goes in the, uh, to the north of the site to areas such as Belton. The process has to cope with a variety of climatic conditions, freezing cold weather, uh, hot summers, uh, so, so yes, plenty of challenges of all year around water production. The treatment work operates 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, uh, it's a 24-7 business. So we always aim to uh, make sure the customer has sufficient quantity and quality of water at all times of the year.